Hello and welcome. Uh, today doing something a little bit different. I know uh, most of you that have watched my videos uh, up to this point, for the, the few videos that I've actually done, um, you know me as Ed's Model Madness. Uh, I was challenged to uh, answer some questions about YouTube and am I the perfect subscriber? Uh, so without further ado, gonna get into the questions um, so I don't lose you guys, I don't wanna bore you to tears. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. Am I the perfect subscriber? No, I do not normally subscribe to somebody's channel just because I watched one video. Uh, what that does mean is something about the video caught my attention. I liked it. I either liked the content, I liked the person, I liked the way they portray themselves. It wasn't boring. Uh, it kept my attention. So um, just because they do that in one video, though, don't mean that their whole channel is going to be that way. Some of the topics, some of the channels, uh, just not stuff that really interests me. Will I try more than one video from a YouTuber? Chances are yes. Um, if one of the videos catches my attention, then there's a good probability that there's more there that also would catch my attention. You can say please subscribe all you want. But if there's nothing about your video, nothing about your content that interests me, I'm not going to subscribe. Um, and I know that that kind of sounds ugly, but the truth is that at that point, um, I just feel like I'm kind of wasting my time uh, <clears throat> subscribing to uh, a, a channel that I have no interest in. Um, it's like uh, sitting through a movie that you don't want to watch. Now it is a good reminder. I do like the fact that a lot of people say, you know, hey, please subscribe if you like the video. I agree with that statement. If you like the video, if you like my content, if you like what I'm saying, if you like listening to me or looking at me or whatever it is, yeah, please subscribe. And I agree with that 100%. I do not have notification bells turned on on hardly any of the videos. Uh, one or two, maybe, um, but for the most part, the answer to that is no. Yes, I will watch videos from my subscription feed. Now, there are some folks out there that I enjoy watching. I understand how difficult doing a video is. I get it, I understand how hard it is, and you know, it's really opened my eyes. So yeah, I will watch videos from my subscription feed. I'll watch videos from my favorites. Um, but like I said, again, I don't really get on Facebook that often, even though we're not even talking about Facebook, we're talking about YouTube here. Uh, I don't spend a whole lot of time on YouTube either. So um, yeah. Do I ever stop what I'm doing because someone's posting a video? No. Uh, just going to be straight up honest with you? No. Uh, nothing that anybody can put up on a video is going to be more important than um, you know me stopping what I'm doing. Uh, it's a video. I can go back and watch a video at any time. That's the whole point to it. So. Um, now, if I'm free, if I'm available, and somebody's doing a, a live or something like that, and, and I'm interested in what they're talking about, or, you know, this is one of my favorite YouTubers that I follow, then, yeah, I might stop what I'm doing and sit down and listen to what they have to say, watch the video, but uh, just because somebody's putting a video up, no. I, I'm, I'm not going to just drop everything I'm doing just because. I 
I'm not a good commenter. Now, if I have something that I feel is valuable, uh, I'll say it. But I kind of go back to, you know, when I was younger, um, my parents used to tell me, you know, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Um, I, I kind of live by that. So, um, yeah, unless I really have something to say or if watching your video and, and this incredible idea pops up in my head or whatever, or you talk about something, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I was just, you know, thinking that the other day. I mean, unless it's something like that, then, yeah, I'm really not a great commenter. Ads are, I mean, basically commercials. Uh, I remember when TV shows, you know, would, would be commercial free and it was a great thing and everybody, you know, so I don't care for the ads in most cases. Uh, it's something that, you know, if I need something or I want something, I'm going to go get it and I'm not going to be swayed by an ad. Uh, it's very rare that I see an ad and go, oh gosh, I got to have that. Um, now, will I watch the ad? After knowing what I know about how YouTube works, and how the ads are um, making people, you know, money. Then, yeah, if if uh, if you're one of my favorites, uh, and I I've subscribed to your channel, and you know, it, it's kind of the least I could do for the effort that you put into making your videos. Yes, I will watch the ads just for the fact of I know that it benefits you. Do you speed up videos? Um, I do not speed up videos that I watch. Now, a couple videos that I have done, um, I sped parts of the video up because I sat there listening to it and I'm like, God, Ed, you're boring. So I sped it up a little bit, you know, kind of got that cute little cartoon character voice going, trying to make the video a little bit more interesting. Um, but as far as speeding up a video I'm watching, no, I'm not going to do that. And it goes back to, again, I understand how hard it is to make a video, how hard it is to keep somebody's attention. Uh, I, I'm just not going to do that. It's, it's almost disrespectful, at least in my book. Affiliate links. Not even sure what we're talking about here. So, do I click on them right now? No. Uh, affiliate codes, never seen one yet, um, not familiar with it. So, again, no. Now, there's probably something more to it. Just because I don't know about it or haven't seen it doesn't mean that it might not be a good thing. Um, but for me, for right now, I got to say no. Okay. I would say that probably the video link that I would be more willing to sit down and watch is going to be 10 minutes or less. Say what you got to say, get to the point, you know, don't beat around the bush. Uh, sometimes, you know, the longer videos are great and you're covering a lot of content and you're really putting out some great information, but 10 minutes or less is basically what I would deem the, the sweet spot. thumbs up. Uh, basically, if I give you a thumbs up, that means that I enjoyed your video. It, it's, it's not an approval rating. It's not a, you know, hey, Ed, give you a, an okay on that. Um, it's not like that. It just means that I like the video. I like what you said, or, or I could sit and listen to you. And if I give you a thumbs up on a video, chances are that I'm probably going to watch the video again. You know, there was something about it, um, and, and it could be a, a, a wide range of things, but there was something about that video that appealed to me. I do not put thumbs down on videos because I think it's kind of rude. It goes back again to, I understand what it takes to produce a video. I understand how difficult it is to sit and talk to a camera. So I'm not gonna sit there and go, 
oh, that was horrible. Um, no, I, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to give you a thumbs up. So, but just because I don't give you a thumbs up don't mean I disapproved of the video either. So this isn't a cut and dry thing, you know. Um, if I do give you a thumbs up, then yes, I definitely like the video. But if I don't give you anything, it don't mean that I didn't like it. It just meant that you're not talking about something that, that may not have interested me. Uh, I might have been too busy at the time when I watched your video to really put a whole lot of thought or effort in. I might have been doing something else and just had your video playing. Um, there, there's a hundred different reasons why that might happen. So please don't take offense if I don't give you a thumbs up and don't worry. I am not going to give you a thumbs down. I don't care if the, if the video, in my opinion, stinks. I'm not going to do it. That's just rude. Do I share other YouTubers' videos? I have not, but that don't mean that I won't in the future. I'm not real big at putting stuff on social media. Uh, I, I try to keep my life somewhat private. Now, I know this kind of goes a little against a, hey, you're on YouTube, but I'm not really, this isn't my life. Uh, what you see are little snippets. Um, and I'm not gonna talk about personal things on, on, on YouTube. So, uh, if you do see one of my videos and I'm sitting there and I'm talking about really personal stuff or something like that, call the police, please, because something's wrong, okay? So, anyway, back to the original question. Am I the perfect subscriber? No, I don't think I am. I think I'm a long way from the perfect subscriber, but I'm getting better, I'm trying harder, and you know, I, I do totally believe in supporting each one of you that gets up here and makes these videos and talks about different topics and, and you're putting knowledge out you're putting things out that you know some people might not have any idea about what it is what it takes uh, to do what you're doing so you know I enjoy learning um, I always have I always will uh, used to be one of the things that I'd say when I go to work well I'm glad I came to work today because I just learned something you know, and I'm not trying to be a smart butt when I say that. I enjoy learning. I enjoy uh, furthering my knowledge. And sometimes it's in a subject that may or may not interest me, and I'm probably never going to use it, but I learned something. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, I'm not going to take offense to it. Um, if you do like, what I'm talking about in my channel, uh, please subscribe and follow me. Challenge each and every one of you to uh, think about some of these questions and maybe you can put your own version of this video out. Have a great day.